Now, I think we should return the stuff to the Alcor diplomat before we uh, return to Shaira, because I think she does comment on how we handle Zeltan and his embarrassing problem. I wonder what secret he's covering up. It would be interesting if we could find out. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Especially, does the journal have anything about it? Yes. Well, I suppose the secrets would be out in the open by now, but unfortunately we can't really check up on them. Just interesting to think what what kind of hidden truths could there be to know about a quadruped? <laughs> Anything unique to them? Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, <laughs> anyone can discover my secret. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Whatever. No, um... Yeah, I think... I think we're getting a bit irritated with his speech patterns. But we've solved this problem, so it doesn't really matter. So long. Farewell, you... Thankful. Hm. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Uh, no. no Apologetic. Not not uh, at not all. Listen to my vault. Yeah, we don't gain in any way whatsoever. But... Right, uh, another level up. Hmm, what do we take? Take another two towards tactical armor. And, um, uh, yeah, the next level we'll take one of those and one spec to training. I want to get Unity because that allows you to revive your fallen squad mates, and in protracted engagements, that is a very useful power. Again, um, focus on health increase for Ashley. Huh, didn't realise Caden was low health at the moment. Go and give him the lift. And, um, there's so many useful abilities just to, you want to take. You know, go a bit further into first aid because it does accumulate. And your health. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Ah. And your health does get harder to eat. You, your health grows, so you need to keep first aid competitive with that to be able to heal a decent amount. Let's go back to the console. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the Consort? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling, though you are the first of your kind to respond to it. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here, but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you are just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. At least that creepy Volus is gone. But, uh, yep, nice bit of Xeno cooperation there instead of xenophobia. We'll see both throughout the game. Commander, 
I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I'm glad I could help. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Like a newspaper horoscope, really. And uh, <laughs> if you pick this option, it initiates a random sex scene. Uh, which must have been quite a shock to the people who picked it, without any foreknowledge. Um, yeah. We're gonna say, gee, thanks, I suppose. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. At least we got some credits and medi gel as well. Otherwise it would just be a bunch of words and an old bit of antique tap. But that Prothean trinket she gave us, if you check the journal, it says Prothean trinket. Um, it does have a use in the game, but there's no way you'd be able to predict it. Luckily it's not one of those crazy puzzle game things where you have to activate it on everything. It, it, it kind of just, it makes itself known when it's time to use it. But it is kind of out of your way um, where it goes. But still, uh, it does mean we get a free story later on, as well as some XP. Now we gotta make our way to CSEC to get down to the docks. Or the docking bay. Um, I think it's yeah, CSEC is this way. Digital Tower, CSEC Academy. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. I don't think there's been no combat so far. I don't think there will be um, at all in this set. This the CSEC Academy. Long elevator, this one. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Yeah, all, all of these news reports, as far as I'm aware, are relevant in some way or another. Even the ones that don't seem relevant in one, they get picked up in two. So, um, it's quite interesting. See if we can point out one later on that isn't relevant at all to anything we're doing. Okay, and there's Rex waiting for us. So let's quick save. You, human, you the one they call Shepard? Is there a problem? The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. Only you got there first. Taking care of Fist was part of my investigation. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it. Alone. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. You're gonna pay me for getting rid of Fist? I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. I like the way you handled Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. You're a bounty hunter. What do you get out of going after Saren? I'm not in this for the money. I want to be where the action is. There's a storm coming, 
and you and Saren are right in the middle of it. Why me? Saren's already got a lot of Krogan working for him. Those aren't Krogan. They're servants. They grovel at Saren's feet to lick his boots, trading their freedom for promises of wealth and power. My people were a proud species once. Some of us still remember that. I won't bow down to Saren like the others. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. Right, and we get the fifth party member, uh, uh, not Rex. And you have to take one or other of these, or both. You can actually turn one down if you haven't got the other, which is uh, interesting. Um, don't think anyone does that on purpose, though, because you generally take all the help you can get. And Rex is probably noticed by that exchange as a very interesting guy. Uh, we'll find out more about him as we uh, cross the course of the game, and him and Tally make a balanced team. Rex, for me, in combat terms, uh, generally I wait until I'm a bit higher level to use him because he has a lot of useful abilities, but you have to build them up a bit. So, um, yeah, let's take them for now since we're just going down to the Normandy. Let's see if they have anything to say about this place. When I first arrived in the Citadel, I spent nearly three hours being questioned by the officers here before they would let me enter the wards. Bobbing up and down on heels. Every time I visit the Citadel, c -Sec brings me here for a friendly chat. Hmm. If c -Sec were better at its job, there'd be no need for bounty hunters like me. Probably true. Quarians aren't too popular with Citadel security. They think we're all beggars and thieves. Oh yes, I just remembered we told to see the requisitions officer. I don't think we can afford any of his stuff, but I just thought probably best to show him off. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How do you know who I am? Huh. I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, Will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Yeah, I think we'd be aware of the news by this point as the first human specter. It shouldn't be any surprise that he knows who we are. Anyway, supplies. Show me what you got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock, Spectre. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Hmm. Must be a radio report. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Right, we get access to Spectre Master gear as well as stuff. Don't want Aldrin Labs because they're kind of not very good. A Solaris amp is just an evolution of what we already have. And we got all kinds of not very good stuff here. You have to get our hands on some. Uh, better licenses to get access to decent equipment. That's what buying the licenses is all about. And the strength of the Normandy requisition officer is that he can get a random selection at any time uh, as soon as you dock in port. So you generally want to check in with him every time you make a major stop on your journey. Um, yeah, we're going to the docking bay, so. You Quarians messed up the whole galaxy when you let the Geth break free. Do your people ever talk about it? Do the Krogan talk about starting a foolish war that resulted in the Turians sterilizing your people? All the time. Hmm. Yeah. Is there a bit of information on exactly where these two species are coming from? Both outsiders in their own way. And we're going to talk to them in the cargo hold of the Normandy and they'll explain exactly uh, in detail what's going on. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. 
Feed a well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes twenty years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren's not gonna get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice on that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Hmm. And here we get to state exactly where we're going to start. And I'm probably going to do the first third of Ferros first, because I find it the most manageable in terms of difficulty, a good chance to level up a bit, get our hands on slightly better gear, and then we're going to go pick up Liara before doing some side quests, then probably on to Ferros to finish off, then to Neveria to do everything there, because I, I think Neveria is the toughest of the three starting planets. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. Hmm. Yeah, I just picked that last one because it made the most sense to just tell them that, even though we are going to stop her from Ferros first, probably. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. <laughs> Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. 